Hey, what's up, guys? It's Epically Noob with you guys again, and today we are going to talk about Flurry. So, yes, as you guys, as most of you guys have known, Flurry has gone through a nerf once before. So, she isn't as good as she was before. Previously, she's able to get extra turns uh, every once in a while. But now she's only able to uh, jump about 50% combat readiness from the skill over here. Was it this one? No. Yeah, this one. So it's a 10% chance to increase combat readiness by 50% at the end of the turn. And also another reason why Flurry was good is because of this, where she is able to grant combat readiness to a random ally. So she's a tank that grants combat readiness and she's able to grant a huge amount of combat readiness to herself as well. Her base speed isn't very low either, which is at, uh, let me see, can I see? No, I can't. 192 minus 78, 192 minus 70 is 122, 122 minus 8 is 114, 114. So that means it's the same speed as Ruzit, SC Ruzit, a specialty change Ruzit. Uh, and also, what was her name again? What was his name again? Assyria, yes. So, yeah. She's pretty good. She's pretty fast. Uh, and she's pretty tanky too. So, what is good about her? The reason why she's good is because of this skill. So, for Flurry, attack. What it does at Max Mola upgrades and with the Awakening... Instead, it's able to provoke and drop a defense down 100% uh, of the time. And it's not subjected to any miss, so that means it will always hit, just that it depends on your effectiveness. So meaning if the enemy has high resist, he's still able to uh, resist it. But even if you're against a disadvantageous element, uh, you will still be able to proc it 100% proc it of the time. It still only depends on your effectiveness. So yeah, it's recommended to get her to a very, very high effectiveness, which is like maybe 100 plus, 120 to 180%. So these are her good points. Oh wait, there's one more, which is the magic resist, which is that she is able to heal herself and her allies uh, for herself is 10%, for her allies is 2% each time she gets a turn. So yeah, she's a very, very uh, low healing sub healer. But ultimately, every little bit of HP counts. So she is a very good support. And for the S1, she's able to jump combat readiness for herself, 25%. And also with the... Uh, oops, sorry... Also with the Awakening, the skill tree, uh, she's able to grant 10% uh, combat readiness to a random ally. So that's pretty good as well. She'll be very good for a early to mid game character as she's able to help you to uh, do a very very stable uh, PvE run time team. She's very good in Abyss as well, although I can't recommend her in in arena late game but in mid to early game maybe up to masters master tree maybe uh flurry is actually pretty damn good over in the arena because first of all she has very good stats and her skills are extremely good as well but she falls off in late game arena just because there are characters better than her but all in all i guess the downside to Flurry is that uh, she needs to be extremely fast, she needs to have extremely high effectiveness, she needs to be tanky, and well, if you can, get effect resistance as well. So basically, she needs to be a very, very highly invested character for her to be actually extremely good. But all in all, it's very hard to build her perfect, but if you can, she is a worthwhile unit to use. Well, as for me, she's just purely tanky, and 
she is kind of like a Corvus where she is just there to tank out damage. Uh, pretty good, I think, in my opinion, against uh, enemies in Guild War, but not in Arena. Because Arena meta is either you go first or you die. In which most cases, uh, if your flurry is fast enough, thick enough, then she might go first. She'll prevent you from dying for one turn before letting you die. So, yeah. She's good, but she's not the best. But all in all, as a 3 star free unit, she is extremely good. How you should build her, I recommend speed and immunity but currently i do not have immunity so yeah as for the artifact elvis ritual sword is the best so the reason why elvis ritual sword is good is because she gets three turns to use light step so meaning she's able to push your allies up and also push herself up so meaning she will get more turns and also that leads to getting your whole entire team more turns as well so yeah she's pretty good Honestly speaking, if you can get her on counter set while being fast enough, then why not? So it'll be counter immunity or speed immunity. So yeah, that's my recommendation for Falcon and Clary. But uh, hmm, I guess if I were to say who should use it and who should not, it will be the early to mid game. So um. I guess if you haven't cleared Abyss, Flurry would be extremely good for you. If you have cleared Abyss and is like in Challenger and above, Flurry is not going to do much for you. But I guess she's pretty fun to use as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.